It's all about brother versus brother, Chris Moore versus Shane Shaw. And this time, it's all getting settled for good. We're going to get you up to speed uh, all about this main event and everything else that's going down at Black Lodge at the next 901 Wrestling Show, because this is your countdown show for February 11, 2023. And it starts right now. announced at our last show it all comes down to this chris ward versus shane schaffner and it's no disqualification and the special referee for that contest joins me now as he always does mr 901 the owner of 901 wrestling tommy jacks hello kevin cerrito thanks for having me once again um you know I don't know what more needs to be said about this, but I tell you what, we're going to talk about it for sure because it's all coming down to this one right here. Everything's about to get settled between these two brothers. Oh, yes. What a what a big card and a uh, big main event coming up here on a special February 11th edition of 901 Wrestling at Black Lodge. Uh, it's been going on for, for months and months. I just, I, as far as I can remember us being at Black Lodge, Chris Ward and his brother Shane Schaffner have not been on the same page. They've gone through so many holidays uh, with the, these family holidays. I don't know how they've handled all of that. And it's all going to come down to this. It's going to come down to a no disqualification match. And, and Tommy, you're going to be right there in the middle of it. I'm going to ask you more about it uh, a little bit later on. But I want to do a full card rundown after we remind folks, this is, again, a special February 11th show. It's not the first Saturday of the month. It's the second Saturday of the month. Uh, we had to bump the day back uh, uh, just, just one week uh, to make this big show happen here. Yeah, you know, I mean, normally, first Saturday of every month, February 11th this time, and our venue, which is absolutely fabulous, Black Lodge, uh, there was a little scheduling conflict, so of course, you know, they've been great to us, we're going to try to uh, work with them the best we can because we love it there, so we moved the date a little bit, but I tell you what, the date moved, but the real winners in all this are the fans. Oh, absolutely, because, uh, bang, my goodness, you put together, uh, you and MC put together a, a great card, and it gets to be right before Valentine's Day, so, you know, the, the if you've got a, a, a wrestling fan in your life, you know, bring a date to the show here, right? You do early Valentine's yeah, absolutely, on, come on. On, on February the 11th, also... Uh, give Black Lodge just launching their new menu. Did you see this? They got a brand new menu, mm-hmm. so you can enjoy dinner and some wrestling action. Uh, all on February the 11th. We will resume our regular first Saturday of the month schedule in March. That's uh, March the 4th, so there will be uh, only a, a three-week uh, time in between those two shows so you can mark your calendars and, and get ready for it. but it's all about this is the countdown show this is your countdown show for your wrestling show and uh, let's take a look at this full card that we've got uh, happening here at Black Lodge which is the best place to watch professional wrestling in the Mid-South nowhere comes close to Black Lodge but uh, and if you were there in January you saw history happen. Two men went head to head that have never faced each other uh, in the history of 901 wrestling. But they were in the main event last show, and Hunter Havoc went out on top. And his hunt for the 901 wrestling championship came to a conclusion. He is the champion, and he will be at Black Lodge on February the 11th. Uh, he'll be on that stage with a uh, microphone in his hand as we get to hear from Hunter Havoc in his first public appearance since winning the top title in the territory. You know, I don't... 
I don't know who saw this coming. I think when the matchup came out, bam, everybody's like, oh my God, this never happened before. Hunter's never lost that we know of. Andy Mack is, you know, not only the star of the show, but might as well be Mr. Main Event at 901. You know, it's, um, and it came down to a Havoc Slam right in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. Andy pulled out all the stops. Um, but we're really just going to have to see what this means for the, the rest of the 901 now that Hunter Havoc is the 901 wrestling champion. Yes, uh, I mean, it's uh, the Hunter Havoc now uh, on top. He calls himself the King of Memphis. He uh, is now sitting on top of the throne of the professional wrestling world uh, in the Mid-South as uh, the 901 wrestling champion. So I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing from Hunter Havoc and uh, getting his thoughts, his plans uh, going forward. It's uh, it, This is a moment that Many fans, you know, they, they expected at some point Hunter Havoc was going to get that one-on-one -on -one shot at the title. We did not know who it was going to be and how it would shake out. But here it is, Hunter Havoc. He, 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 he rose to the occasion, and he is the 901 Wrestling Champion here, uh, yeah. defeating, as you mentioned, Tommy, no one with more main event experience. And I mean no one with more main event experience in this territory over the past seven years than Andy Mack. Nobody has been in more main yeah. events. So. And and just went through it, pal. I mean, the minute he got an opportunity, Hunter wins the number one contendership, facing Bobby Ford. Next match, Andy Mack and, and your new champion, Hunter Havoc. It's it's wild, but yeah, it's, who, it's real. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who will be able to uh, take down Hunter Havoc. That will be interesting because as you just said, he's already, he's already beaten Bobby Ford. Now, now Andy Mack, what is going to be next? What is the plan for the, what, what is the plan for the, for the Havoc that will be unleashed uh, in the 901? I will talk to the man who defeated Andy Mack and became the 901 wrestling champion, Hunter Havoc, uh, on Saturday, February the 11th at Black Lodge, also on the card, a former 901 wrestling champion, Hunter Havoc's fellow 901 baddest member, Big Swole Justin Cole, has uh, issued an open challenge. A big open challenge, apparently. Not just it's any what, open challenge. Yeah, a big open challenge, whatever that means. Um, you know, he saw his, I guess he saw his buddy, Hunter Havoc, you know, rise to the occasion. Top title of the land. I think Big Swole's thinking he needs to step his game up a little bit. From what I understand, he hit MC up. Big open challenge has an opponent that's already accepted. I mean, I'm I'm kind of curious to see what this is about. I'm, I'm excited to see who it's going to be and um, what type of test this is going to be that uh, Big Swole is putting himself, uh, you know, up against. Yeah, last last month we saw Big Swall in tag team action, teaming up with Dustin Anthony. They made quick work of the Shadow and the Grappler, and uh, Swall. I mean, he's a former 901 wrestling champion, and uh, we'll see I, what. So you're, say, so you're saying the challenge is already we somebody has accepted the big open challenge already. So if you're tuning in and you're saying, "Oh man, I want to get my hands on on Big Swall," you're gonna have to wait because somebody yeah. else is getting that opportunity. Uh, we will see who that is as uh, Big Swole's Big Open Challenge uh, is occurring here on February 11th. Also on the card, we've got the big battle of initials. MJ Davis versus T.I.P. Here you got the M and the J or the T I. In the P. Two individuals are looking, of course, to, to climb the ranks of 901 because every single match matters in the 901. But these are two big guys that are going to go head to head in a heavyweight battle that I didn't know, Tommy, that how uh, how I wanted to see this match. But now I, I see this where you it's it's been laid out. It's on the card. There's the graphic. We're looking at it. I can't wait. Hopefully we've got the ring reinforced and ready to go because these guys are going 
to beat each other up. Oh, yeah. You know, and you said it, every single match matters, and that's exactly what this is. This is an opportunity for either one of these men to climb the ranks in the 901. Now, MJ Davis has been more focused on um, tag action with his with his mentor, Kevin Bless, uh, and TIP uh, has not been at the 901 for just a quick minute, but still was looking to improve that win-loss record from the last time he's been around. This is a great opportunity for, for both of these men, and uh, you, you said it perfectly, Kevin. Hard hitting and uh, beating the brakes off of each other. That's what this matchup has written all over it, and I'm curious to see who's going to go that next rung of the ladder. Yeah, the international player returns to the 901 uh, to battle MJ Davis. You're coming up on February 11th, also on the card. So really, this is this this card is stacked because you know sometimes we talk about we do have double main events. This is this could be uh, a card that is worthy of a triple main event billing because we have got two big title matches leading up. To the main event. One of those is a tag team title match that fans thought we were going to see back in January. And uh, of course, I have up to Wise Church up to their tricks. And they seem to be a, a, a team that only wants to hurt the storm, but they are getting an opportunity to hurt the storm, not only physically, but mentally, if they're able to take those tag team titles away from them. Uh, we have the Wise Church challenging the inaugural 901 wrestling tag team champions of the storm with prince adonis in night train tag team titles on the line this match is going to happen tom we're, we're the everybody Absolutely. in the wise church is, is healed up and ready to go well you know i i feel like last event the things that the wise church pulled was kind of what you alluded to a few mind games there right you know, they were scheduled. This match was scheduled last month. Like you said, um, Reno Diamond comes out with a with a with his arm in a brace, talking about how he moved some furniture, hurt himself, whatever. Come to find out, that was all a ruse. It was just a way to get at the storm once again uh, via a wrench, you know, hidden suspiciously in yeah, that like sling hidden in his his cast he was wearing yeah. the, the, the yeah. sling yeah and um like i think that's just a way to further get at the storm well here's the thing uh as you've been able to see over the past few events uh mc's pretty much had enough of a lot of these type of uh shenanigans and tricks from from a lot of these wrestlers and he said he had had enough of it this is the wise church's opportunity right here they either take this match or or they don't and somebody else moves up that ladder so it's going to happen february 11th wise church storm tiles on the line uh, yeah i mean this is one when it happened last show i was i was stunned honestly uh, because like okay it was like because at first i'm like oh well, maybe R reno really did injure himself uh over the holidays but obviously he didn't because I just don't understand. You know, you you try to figure out what is the motivation of the Wise Church. Since since they've returned, that's been really hard to figure out. But at the end of the day, it, I just keep going back. They want to inflict pain on the storm. For whatever reason that is, that seems to be their motivation. Because why else would you opt out of a, of a, of a tag team title match? Um, I'm going to tell you, Cerrito, I've had a theory going for a half a minute, and I'm going to throw it out there in the ether right. for the 901. The Storm was the hottest and is the hottest tag team in the 901 that, that this territory has seen in a very long time. It wasn't that long ago, though, that people would have said that was the Wise Church. And with the Wise Church being gone as long as they had, I'm sure that it got to their ears that they were hearing about the storm, the storm, the storm. How do you think that set with them? Well, I think we're seeing right now because I believe that's what this is all about. They Jealousy, were the top. Yeah. yeah, they were the top tag team of this whole territory for years. And all of a sudden, the new blood comes up. They even came out supposedly to congratulate them their first night back. And then here we are tag title matches, bad blood between both teams. Um, 
the storm finally gets their hands on the wise church that's what the people have been waiting for i don't know if the wise church has been that wise getting the storm all agitated like this but we'll see we, yeah we we shall see the tag titles will be on the line wise church versus the storm at black lodge but that's not the only title to be decided so the tag titles on the line will have the 1819 championship uh, defended as well as the bluff city boss don montana puts the title on the line against the number one contender kevin bless oh yeah this one right here i tell you what you know our date changed kevin and mc said all right i'll tell you what we're gonna treat the fans let's just load this card this one's a big one right here and it kind of hit me out of left field because i was like kevin bless i mean he's great we all know this you know we also know how he goes about certain things right but that's besides the point so I hit up MC and I'm like, hey, MC, what's the deal with this 1819 match? Kevin blessed Don Montana. And he said, well, look, I'm, I was looking for a number one contender for the 1819 title. He said, I want to make sure this card is loaded for the people just to, as a small thank you for changing the date. I said, well, how did you come up with Kevin Bless? He said, well, I, go, I went back through the record books. There's only one person in the 901 that has a record comparable to that of Don Montana, and it's Kevin Bless. Not only that, he literally came down between him and Don Montana for the wild card rumble, and that's how Don Montana has that 1819 championship. And when MC laid all that down before me, I'm like, wow, good job, MC. This is a hell of a matchup. I can't wait to see it. Uh, yeah, very good point. I mean, Kevin Bless, uh, he, he definitely hasn't flown under the radar as far as the shows go, but like he slowly has been picking up these wins. And because we have kind of been distracted, he's been involved with some tag team action. But I mean, I just know just off the top of my head, he's beating Prince Adonis. He's beating Big Dave. So uh, yeah, definitely he's worthy. He's beating Night Train. Yeah, you know? Night Train. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely worthy of a shot at the 1819 Championship. And we know Don Montana, who's been on this epic run, is not going to uh, just uh, roll over and let anybody take that title from him. Could it be Kevin Bless, though? He's getting a shot at uh, some singles gold here in the 901. And MJ Davis, though, will be there with him. Yeah. You know, that's... And that's... That's the... It could that very could... well be, Yeah. Yeah, I think I know what you're saying there, Kevin. That's, you know, they tried similar things during that wild card rumble. It didn't work out for him. I don't know if he's going to be walking Kevin to the ring. I don't know necessarily if he's going to be at ringside, but I promise you if he is, Don Montana is going to keep his head on the swivel because he's already kind of seen the tricks that Kevin and them are up to. And I think that's the real test for Kevin. Once somebody knows all of your tricks, are they any good anymore is that gonna help you or are you gonna have to face don montana one-on-one -on -one straight up and then how does that work out for you yeah it, uh, uh it's, it's i'm very much looking forward to that matchup uh kevin bless versus don montana for the 1819 championship coming up here on february the 11th at black lodge tickets on sale now 901 wrestling.com get your tickets uh, 901wrestling.com so many uh, different and uh, awesome new ticket options at oh, yeah. 901wrestling.com if you're looking for a private booth or if you want to sit on a couch or ringside or get uh, a, a one of the uh, new VIP party tables as well so many different options uh, to enjoy the experience the live event experience the can't miss experience that is 901 wrestling at Black Lodge but uh, all of this leads us to this main event Tommy uh, you've had uh, I have you know since we've been doing this since you've come back here you're the owner of 901 wrestling uh, I, I I I believe and trust your unbiased analysis of most of these matches this you you are involved in this match uh, as the special guest referee so the main event let's set the stage for folks 
who need to get caught up here. But uh, Chris Ward and Shane Schaffner, they are brothers. They used to be a tag team in 901 Wrestling, uh, known as Jax Inc., managed by Tommy Jack. Uh, 901 Wrestling comes back for, to Black Lodge uh, not, uh, after taking a, a COVID hiatus. We start doing shows at Black Lodge. The, it ends up becoming a rift between the two brothers. You've got Chris Ward, Shane Schaffner. They just don't get along anymore. Shane Schaffner no. wins the 1819 championship. Chris Ward does everything he can to get the title away from him. He does successfully get it away. He ends up teaming up with Billy Robertson in the process. And now uh one you know a match will start one of them will come after another one with a chair vice versa back and forth and it's just been back and forth since the since the since we've been at black lodge yeah and it all comes down to this match no disqualification to settle it all no more interrupting matches no more interrupting uh matches that fans are, are dying to see uh, which happened uh, that got them both suspended uh, recently. And Tommy, so the announcement was made by you. Yeah. That you're going to bring these guys back uh, to settle the score once and for all. No disqualification, but the pressure is on for you now. Not, not only it's been on anyway, you know, you're running this business, but as the special guest referee in this match how are you going to keep it under control what can we expect in this main event brother versus brother here's a, a simple quick answer and then i'll elaborate a little bit i'm not going to keep it under control i am there to simply do one thing cerrito see when i came out and i announced this I said that the only way these two guys would be allowed back in the 901, MC agreed that if I oversee this thing and they finally finish it, then they're back in. And I've I've been on record saying it many a times, the 901 is better with wrestlers like Chris Ward and Shane Schaffner in it instead of outside of it. So that's my simple answer is I'm not going to keep it under control. No, see, my plan is to go in there and make sure once and for all, if it takes them beating the teetotal hell out of each other to do it, that they get this all out of their system and done with. So that's my job. Um, I'm not going into this so much thinking, hey, let it be a fair fight, because I'm going to tell you this. If there's gouging going on, if there's biting going on, if things are getting bent in the wrong way and not in a legal way, I don't really care. They have to get it out of their system once and for all. So we're going to get it all out of their system once and for all. I don't care if either one of them aren't able to walk afterwards. Whoever got the pinfall, that's who I'm counting. There is no partiality here. I know these guys better than anybody else in this business, and probably out. And what we're going to do is we're going to settle this once and for all, Cerrito. That's what I'm doing February 11th as a special guest referee. That's my goal. That's what's going to happen. And that's your main event on what is a stack card for the special February 11th edition of 901 Wrestling at Black Lodge. Let's take a look again real quick at what we've got coming up. Uh, in his first interview since uh, taking the top title in the territory from Andy Mack back in January, I will catch up with the new 901 Wrestling Champion, Hunter Havoc. Also, his uh, buddy, Big Swole, former 901 Wrestling Champion, will be issuing his big open challenge. Who has accepted Big Swole's Challenge. We will find out. Ed Black Lodge, MJ Davis uh, will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with T-I-P. It's MJ versus T-I-P in what is going to be whew, one you do not 
want to miss. Uh, two title matches on the card, including the 901 Wrestling Tag Team titles as the Wives Church uh, challenges the Storm. The Storm uh, looking to get their hands on the Wise Church, while the Wise Church may or may not be looking to get their hands on the tag team titles. They're definitely looking to get their hands on the Storm. We'll see how it all plays out. Uh, at Black Lodge, the 1819 championship is on the line as the Bluff City Boss defends the title he has held for uh, quite a few months now against Kevin Bless. Kevin Bless getting the opportunity um, at the 1819 championship. Uh, see if he can continue to add to that impressive win loss record he has here in the 901. If he does, he'll become 1819 champion. And then in that main event, brother versus brother, no disqualification. Mr. 901, the owner of 901 Wrestling, Tommy Jacks, the guy who used to be the manager of these two men, the guy who is currently on this show with me right now, Tommy Jacks, will be in the middle of it in the main event at Black Lodge on February the 11th. Get your tickets now, 901wrestling.com. If you do not have your tickets, uh, do not wait. Get your tickets now, 901wrestling.com. You might already have your tickets, and you might be watching this right now on the big screens at Black Lodge. Because one of the great things, we always have 7 p.m. bell time, but if you arrive about 30 minutes early, grab your food, get comfortable in your chair, and watch the countdown show uh, on the big screen. So if you are at Black Lodge right now. Tommy, is it my part? Is it my part? To, yes. Yellow Black Lodge, make some noise. Woo, that's what I'm talking about, 901. I think they're ready. Tommy, I, I hope you are ready. I'm ready, baby. Hope you are ready. Uh, we will all be watching. Uh, and keeping a, a close eye on the, on that main event. Tommy, thank you for joining me. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Again, 901wrestling.com. Uh, get your tickets now. But uh, we, we, we got, that's, that's it. We got, we got to go. I, I, I will see you ringside.